Welcome to the world of me being me is enough. Welcome to that world. It's pretty awesome. doing pickup we're meeting up come totally clean man especially since people who are sitting on a restaurant table don't want to be distracted so you have to calibrate to that you have to show deep understanding of that empathize deeply excuse me I see this is just one you can do a million techniques you can walk up and say what's up but you might find that it fits with, I see you guys are having a quiet dinner, just the two of you. I had to meet you. You're mirroring their need. Their need is, we're just having a quiet night. Excuse me, I see you guys are there. I just had to meet you, I'm Bob. You see what happens. And then if there's like, oh, hi, thanks. And you say, can I sit for one minute? I'll sit, can I sit? And then rather than standing over them, yeah. Okay, if you do get that to that point, then I'll send somebody and you guys can maybe have a night out. We'll see. Don't think this is just an exercise where I want you to go in and out. It might be a whole night and my friends are just over there or my friends will be, my friend is joining me, me soon. We can go for a drink together, this kind of thing, okay? So it's real authenticity, that is safety. You don't need another person to distract, but you do need to be able to juggle both. And so the juggling of both is acknowledging the other person and introducing yourself is very powerful just in that because everybody wants to live up to the courage and confidence of somebody who knows who he is. And when you say hello to the, the friend, you're showing that you understand where you're going, where you're coming from and why you're there. If you're just kind of secretly talking to the one you like and the other one is like, oh God, she gets all the attention. Maybe she's jealous. Maybe she wants to have a night with her friend. Um, then you're in a position of alienating and you're gonna get pushback from the girlfriend. If the girl goes to her cell phone, that's pretty good actually, because she's making herself busy. If she goes to like this, or she goes like, <laughs> let's get out of here, then you're obviously needing to, again, establish yourself as a credible human being by introducing yourself to friends. Sorry, I don't mean to take your, your time. Uh, you guys will be able to run off forever. Or maybe, who knows, maybe my buddy and I will, will join you guys. What are you up to? And there you're talking to both. Generally speaking, I find that I start talking to one, continue for a little bit, and then I include both of them. Okay, again, you might have to do it earlier. Introduce yourself and say, oh, and, and to the friend also, I'm Andrew. You may have to do that. And then come back, right back to the primary person. Without shame, without fear, in order to increase your comfort. Because when you have a place to stand, you have a place to become, okay? When you have a place to be, you have a place to become. You should know, no, 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 I'm about to explode. This is a sitting situation. The same thing essentially applies, but let's talk about the standing where there are a few more things to digest, okay? So if, for example, I walk up to both, this could be during the day or the night at the club, 
hey, excuse me, uh, I, just wanted to, I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can all see what I was doing there. Uh, I'm just looking at both of them, and that's uncomfortable for them. I'm certainly uncomfortable because I'm really saying there isn't a place. You need to have a place in order to connect with one person. You need to have one person to choose one. So now in terms of wingmanning, I'm standing in a place that sends the wrong message to my wingman, right? I'm standing where it seems that either I'm interested in you or I'm just confusing my friend. If it's at the club, I would really encourage you to be like this so that she actually turns her body to have a conversation with me and then that the buddy can come in and do the same thing. Hey, I'm his buddy, I'm Andrew. Just casual. There's no success failure at stake because we are now accomplices in our friend's journey. Does that make sense? And then position himself this way, knowing it doesn't have to be exaggerated. And they might can become uncomfortable if it's too far. You'll feel that out. But the point is that the first guy has made it clear that he's meeting this girl, he's interested in this girl, and that's where it's going. If there's a connection there, then it's very easy to say, okay, what were you guys up to? And then include them both. And then it's like, hey, let's all go for a drink. And changing venues is really helpful. Something about once a contact is established and then just walking, or if your contact is established at a bar and you're talking for a little while, that you change venues because there is a sort of, if you like, an unconscious sense of trust or reliability or continuity. And once you've talked to somebody here, now we're going somewhere else, we're part of a journey. We're part of a shared experience. She's going with you somewhere else. Now you are her protection, her psychological sense of environment or context, right? Now you are that, and it's, now it's you guys going somewhere rather than you're coming into her world. Does this make sense? As well as actually changing venues, just going for a piss. Going to the toilet to wash your hands or splash water on your face when there's like a pause. It's very normal. You must become very accustomed to pauses, the continuity of a conversation. They come up. We have pauses in our conversations. Instead of forcing yourself to find the next thing, you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back in a second. You come back and it's like, psychologically the beat is refreshed. And it's like, you find something new to say because you've permitted yourself to reestablish contact with your own truth. And then somehow we just find creative things to say. It's mysterious, it's beyond our control, it just happens that way. At the same time, cultivating I don't know or faith mind on a date does allow you to stay longer in the uncomfortable pauses and trust that new things will come up in such a way that new things do come up. So whether it means changing venue, going to take a piss, or just being in your feet, resetting through reestablishing contact with your own faith mind, your own truth, is very, very helpful. You're so tall. Tall? You're so tall. No, How is no, it? Oh. <laughs> you look so happy. And tired, I see. Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was like high or tired. <laughs> Maybe high also, or just tired? Uh, no. Just tired? Yeah. Why? Because uh, late time, I'd like to go to sleep together. I guess it's just because... What? Like, it's a bit, uh, di yeah. difficult. Yeah. Big day no, today? No, 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 I mean all week was not enough sleep. Huh? Yeah, you know, if you're here and you have... Oh, I'm so wet, oh my god. I was close to this fall. Waterfall? No, yeah. no waterfall. Fontaine. Oh my god, I, I was... Uh, okay. It Were was you fun. dancing like a little girl in the... No, 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 just made the video. It was so excited. And then it was... 
But oh my god, you are so wet. Yeah. Or maybe you are just saying that because you got nervous when I talked to you. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you now? Are you Instagram or are you on contacts? Yeah. Uh, Doesn't matter. Okay, okay contacts, I put it. It's a good joke or a bad joke? Uh, like, uh, yeah. Medium. I have to go and meet some friends. I will go meet my friends. But I'm happy that I met you. Get some rest, dry up, get some sleep.